That I have this vision in my head? Yes. <laughs> and it's not gonna match the vision I have in my head. Yes, I know. What are the key questions? Does the sun stream in, actually? How is the sound in between walls? Who are the actual neighbors? Right, who are the neighbors? And if they have a problem with light. Because <laughs> we know with street lights would be happening. Can you renovate? Yeah, can I renovate? That's very important, because we do a gut job. I'm very intrigued. Yeah. Big day. Good morning, vlog. It is actually 12. 28, we are on our way to tour a potential possible place for me to buy, which would be insane. We'll discuss more after we tour it. So we are heading there right now with my parents, of course, Mitch and Marcy, here they are. And how are we all feeling? We are feeling excited. We're trying not to get too excited. I have absolutely spent a lot of time and hours photoshopping the heck out of this place to see what I would turn it into. Obviously with listing photos, Whoa! With listing photos, usually they're like with fisheye lenses. So that makes the space look a lot bigger. So I'm not sure if the visual that I have in my head is gonna match. We shall see. Hello! It's very modern stereo. <laughs> These are good. So, I like it a lot. Well, tell me how you felt. I feel like it was the perfect project. It has everything really that I want. Got a ton of potential, right? Like a ton of potential. It's a, it matches the vision that I thought. We'll have lots of privacy. It's got lots of privacy. As far as construction in there, um, that one wall that you're thinking of moving is, isn't load bearing. And I think you've got plenty of room to have a really nice kitchen. For, oh yeah. It'd be the kitchen I like dream, dream kitchen. But you might be putting in an offer today, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Big day! You know, it's, it's dated. It looks Well, like, it's very dated. It looks like the same age as your place in California. Yeah. You know, like that Before same, we did anything. Yeah. Well, but all that stuff is going to disappear. The central vac you get rid of and mm -hmm. just have like a Dyson and, you know, just shit like that. It yeah. would be a fun project. It would be such a fun project. And, you know, great content and... <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. it was so bright in there. Imagine what it would be like in the summer. Oh, in the summer, in the morning? It'd be stunning. Like, all the way up in I'd the probably cry walking down in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you would cry. I can see, I can see, see my brain percolating of ideas. No, I can see your excitement. You know, really? Because you're doing this with your hands, like. <laughs> so you just have to figure out if you want to put an offer on it. Oh my goodness. The good thing is that, you know, you, we have a lot of time because you're here until October. And I know. We have to be rushed. Yeah, we have time. We have time. Imagine, you know, the weather being nice. You can walk basically anywhere. You've got the whole ravine system. If you wanted to take a bike ride, you're right near the bike trails. It's like three blocks and you're in the bike system all the way down to the lake. Really? Yeah. Um, oh my God. Ah, I'm excited. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm happy it didn't like make me sad going there. <laughs> Walking in and how bright it was, that was I said all. Yeah. Go and process. Okay, and then let's let's have a little chat when you guys get home. Yeah, yeah. Alright, talk to you guys later. Oh my god. Processing. I'm gonna be processing for hours and hours and hours to come. We toured it. Obviously, you guys have heard our thoughts from our conversations. It pretty much matched my expectation, which is nice because I would have been sad if it was smaller and different than I kind of had envisioned. It's definitely like a full, full reno job. Like I will have to redo the entire place, um, but I kind of I'm excited at that thought. Like there's a lot more to change than there was in my LA place when I bought it, which is funny because all of the comments were like, this place is so ugly. You know, people just, you gotta get the visual. The beauty of a reno project and me having an apartment right now is that I can live in my apartment while we're renovating the house. And then once it's done, I can move into it, which is very, very nice. It takes a lot of stress out of the equation. Also, it's a property that I could buy now and not have to worry about selling my place in LA, which gives me a lot of comfort because we can even play with the idea of just keeping both, which is insane and renting out 
my LA place at the same time. That's something that I didn't think I was gonna do because I'm the kind of person that likes to live as debt free as possible. I don't want a fat mortgage. I wanna like pay off things when I can. So I really wanted to sell my place in LA so that I could pay off something here that was gonna be really nice and expensive, not really have much debt. When I first got here and started looking at places to buy, I was looking with the thought process of like, let's just get a really, really nice place. It'll be, you know, more expensive obviously, but it'll be really, really nice. And to be able to afford something like that with a very, very small loan, I would need to sell my place in LA. But with this place, it's like at the halfway point of my budget, which means I can put a lot of money into it to make it exactly what I want. And it still wouldn't be at my max budget, which is just a good financial move. And also it wouldn't require me to sell my place in LA and I wouldn't be feeling any kind of financial burden. So it is definitely a very exciting thought process. So obviously I filmed the whole walk through and everything like that, I filmed it. But if it's not in this video, it means I put an offer in and I don't want people commenting the address or anything like that because in the places that I had toured before, I obviously showed you guys and everyone commented the addresses. And I just think that's one, disrespectful, two, a breach of privacy, but at the same time, they're public listings. So I get it, just I don't see the reason why people would have to comment it, like it's just strange. So I'm gonna be keeping it more private until I get it in theory. It is a townhouse, which I really, really like. I like the idea of that. I, standalone house makes me a little bit more nervous since I am on my own. Hondo didn't really want to do that necessarily. I kind of toyed with the idea, but ideally I don't really want to be in something that I have to take an elevator up and down. I'd rather just open up a front door and then be outside. So a townhouse is kind of the perfect in between of what I want and what I had. This is just going to be like a heavy thought process vlog because we're going to be processing and I will let you guys know by the end of this vlog, if we're putting an offer in. It's a big job for sure, but I think we could do a really, really nice job with it and like really make it look nice. It's got like a little mini backyard, which is really nice. It's a super different, unique layout. Like it's not gonna be cookie cutter at all. It's very, very different, which I think is fun and cool. Oh my God. I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon photoshopping more pictures of this place into what I want. I gotta make some Pinterest mood boards. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, this would be my second home. Okay, I'm gonna take some time to process. I'm gonna make some lunch. Actually, let's make lunch first and then we'll process after. Well, the next step is you making a decision. Well, she already said she wants to make an offer. Is that what you want to do? I think so. Then we'll take guidance from Marcy about what the offer should be and everything yeah. else. Yeah. And just remember, if by some chance you don't get it, it wasn't meant to be. Just right. remember that. Right. I'll be fine. Pressure. You're not in a huge rush. Once I'm off of my uh, my recording today, I'm going to be photoshopping every single image from the listing. Perfect. I'm really excited. I can't process right now. Okay, guys, it's been kind of chaotic, as I'm sure you can imagine. I don't even know what I've vlogged today so far. So I am doing a recording of my Spotify show, Blind Dating, so I am getting ready for the pre-recording call, which is in five minutes. It is currently 4.25. This day has kind of been a blur since seeing the place. Lots of things. My dad's been reading through all of the inspection stuff that was done prior to them listing it. There's definitely a lot of work that needs to be done, like plumbing, electrical. I mean, it's a complete gut job. There's a lot that I really, really like about it and I've been photoshopping so much stuff. Like I have not done work that I should have been doing today. Oh wait, I've just been very distracted and my head is kind of everywhere. Hello, hey, wait. Sarah. Wait, where is this sound coming from? It's not sync. Oh. Okay, wait. Sound. <laughs> oh, I know why. I didn't. I didn't connect it here. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Oh, Tara, you're the best. I just want to. I just want to give you a little refresher of how awesome you are. Oh, Let thank me just you so you. much. Yeah, I just want you to know you're like so cool. So. Oh my God! Thank you for the hype. I really appreciate it. <laughs>
Okay, we have 13 minutes until our recording. I love the Spotify team that I work with. Like they're just like the greatest people, greatest women. I love chatting with them. It's just a little treat, but I'm going to actually make some kind of caffeinated beverage. I don't know if you've noticed, I haven't really been drinking a lot of caffeine lately. And that's mostly because I don't really feel like I need it for the most part in the mornings. I wake up refreshed. I don't really feel like I need an extra bit of caffeine. But since we're recording a few hours later than we usually do, I'm just feeling a little tired and I have to be like on for this. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make maybe just a quick coffee, but it's like too late in the day to really have coffee. Does kombucha have caffeine? I think coffee is the only way. Well, I have like a half cup. <laughs> So I would do so. Oh, I need to start drinking this. It's too hot. I'm gonna put ice in it. Ooh. I can like feel it popping. This isn't even gonna like affect me in time. I got seven minutes on the clock. <sighs> Today has been chaotic. How long does it take for coffee to kick in? How long does it kick in? 30 to 60 minutes! Oh, that's peak level. Oh, this is good. I just walk for 10 minutes. This is great because usually the first 10 minutes of our call are usually for setting up the guest's audio and everything like that. So this might be perfect. I'm just chilling this bitch. Okay, I did it. I don't feel great, but I did it. Am I supposed to leave? Good timing, we just finished ending the recording. Well, I'm gonna ignore that also. I put my sweatpants on immediately after the recording because I don't know why I was still wearing skinny jeans. Ugh. Anyways, it seems like the beeping is outside now, of, at least in the hallway, so I'm gonna call my parents back. Discussing more of the place. I have no idea what's going on, but now it's just in the hallway. I assume everything's fine. We have an alarm activation. Toronto Fire Services have been notified and are responding. All occupants are advised to remain in their suites until further instructions are received. Please remain calm. Okay, so... Fire truck one, fire truck two, number three. Well, that was slightly chaotic. I mean, fits the vibe of the video, apparently. Just chaotic energy everywhere. <laughs> there were like four fire trucks downstairs. And then it turned out there was no problem at all. Anyways, I am about to send an email to the real estate agent that we've been working with and tell her to move ahead with it. I got like the literal chills there. I'm like kind of overwhelmed. Let's move ahead. Send. <sighs> And now I guess we wait and see what happens. I still have not been back to Los Angeles. I came here on a three week trip, packed one bag. It's now January of the following year and I have just put an offer in on a place. And while that might seem wild and like, whoa Tara, slow down. I am very, very comfortable with making Canada home base. I would wanna raise my family here eventually. I just feel like Canada is a great place to raise a family. I'm very lucky to have Canada as my home country. So I feel very, very good about buying something here. I don't feel like that's ever gonna be a regret. I'm just a little nervous that like, there's a lot to visualize with the space. Like the inside has not been touched, I think since ever. You have to have like a serious vision to go in there and be like, yeah, let's do it. But there's a lot of features that hit what I want and <sighs> holy fuck. It's 6.45, I'm going to do some editing because I need to like get some shit done today because I like been everywhere. It has been a day, oh my God. I woke up this morning and I toured a place and then I came home and I panicked for a while and then I recorded blind dating and then I put an offer on a place and uh, I've been panicking ever since. It's like a good panic but also like a stress panic because like it really is so crazy. This place was put on the market like a few days ago and my real estate agent said that they're reviewing offers tomorrow at 3 p.m. and there's already another offer on the place which like only makes me want it more which stresses me out because I don't know what their offer is I don't know if it's better than mine um there's a lot of panic <laughs> that goes into this I'm like very very overwhelmed this whole vlog has just been so all over the place I can only imagine I have not looked at any of the footage yet but I can just imagine it's everywhere. I'm really, really nervous. I'm really, really excited, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself because there's obviously a chance that I won't get it. And the fact that they're waiting until 3 p.m. to look at offers means that they think more offers will 
be put in before then. I don't know, obviously. It's also just crazy how quickly things are selling right now. Like if you look at a place and you like it, you have to like jump on it because otherwise it can go like in days. It's so crazy that you have to make a huge, huge decision like that after viewing a place once. Like it's so wild, but I really, really love this place. It's so unique. I just could see how amazing it can be. I feel like buying a home is one of the biggest things you can do and so it's very very scary and the process definitely is very nerve-wracking so i'm just kind of like trying to relax myself and stop like racing in my head because i'm just kind of like my brain is everywhere right now i don't know if i'm gonna find out tomorrow after they review the offers or if we'll find out on monday because tomorrow's friday so i'm just trying to relax and i'm going to actually end the vlog here so i can process relax hope for the best and i guess we'll see what happens but I would really love it if we could all, you know, get the good vibes going, positive energy thrown everywhere. Like, let's just, fingers crossed. I'm, I just think it would be so much fun for me because I'll end up with like a stunning, stunning home and also fun for me and my family to do together because they have a lot of contacts with contractors and designers. Like we would do it 100% right. Like all of the I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to stop. Okay. I'm going to end the vlog here. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for everything that you do for me. I would never be in this position without you. So I am, I mean, you guys know I am so grateful for you guys. You have provided me a life better than I could have ever, ever imagined. So thank you. Thank you for all of your support and for watching my videos and commenting and liking and everything that you do. It's just everything. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you on... Thursday.